still here with Matt, Dave, and Big Perk. I'm just going to get right to it, guys. Our friend Andre Godala sparked an interesting debate on whether or not the Dream Team would beat the 2012 USA basketball team. So Iguodala was a member of that team, and here is what he had to say. Quote, any team with Michael Jordan on it, I'm picking except for 2012 versus the 92 Dream Team. I'm not picking that 92 team. I'm picking us, even though 92 had MJ. So obviously Iguodala, he had confidence in the team that he played on back in 2012. Matt, you're already groaning and sighing. I want, I want Perk to go first, though. Okay, all right, all right. So let me just remind everyone, 1992, it was the first American Olympic team to feature active professional players in, from the NBA. They won gold in Barcelona that year, paved the way for what we know now as USA basketball. So the table has been set. All of that has been said. Mm. Big Perk, I'm going to listen to Matt here. Get out of your way and just let, let me know what you think of this. Well, here's, here's the problem that I have, and no disrespect to the 1992 Olympic team, but half of those guys were a little past their prime. Hmm. I'm not going against Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant all on one team. In my opinion, that 2012 was the greatest Olympic USA team ever. Like, I don't see no team actually competing with them. Now, look. If the 2000, uh, if the 1992 team would have would have been fat and had Isaiah Thomas on it, okay, maybe <laughs> I would consider them. But as of right now, no, I'm going with the 2012. I'm with Iggy on this one. KD, Cole, and Braun. That's enough in itself. Mm. Yeah, per, I mean, I'm uh, I'm just not mad at this statement overall that Iggy made. I mean, you got to think, this is prime. I mean, a young a young 12 team. <laughs> an older uh, uh, dream team. I think mm -hmm. the historical significance of the dream team was just so impactful. The world wasn't ready for what we had in store with there. But then you fast forward to that 2012 team. I mean, Kobe is, is in his early 30s. The rest of these guys are in their 20s. You know what I mean? So it's hard to say who would, different styles, different eras, but I'm definitely not mad at what Iguodala said. Dave? I mean, I'm all for talking about your own accomplishments, puffing out your chest a little bit. I understand where Ivory <laughs> Iguodala is coming from. He wants to have his basketball legacy seem even greater than it has already been. And Kevin Durant is the one person, I think, on that team who can have a reason to say this because Kevin Durant is perhaps the greatest scorer the game of basketball has ever seen. But what about 92 and also 2008 and the continuity of purpose. 92, that team wanted to show the world what professional basketball is about in this country. And 2008 was wanted to remind the world what professional basketball is about in this country. Well, I think one, the, the, the one thing that I'm kind of held up on is that one was the gateway to the next, right? There would be no 2012 without 92. There would be no 2008 without 92. So. Uh, like, are, are we putting the crown on 92? I'm kind of in the, I'm not mad at it. That's where yeah. I'm settled. We're just such a, we're just such a, a, a meh. On, we're putting crowns on both. But, I mean, you got to think 92 had 11 right, right. Hall of Fame. I mean, that was a great team. I mean, I remember yeah. I used to wake up early and watch that during the weekends. Like, to their significance to what we know as Olympic basketball now really started there. So, and like Malika said, it's been the gateway to continue to get better. I would put the 92 team definitely in the top three all time. You easy. can argue if they're one or two. Park? But... But 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 can we all agree that 2012 had like better competition? And I get it; they all was pretty much smacking all the teams. But the game had the had, world had, had evolved. Like yes. you know, yeah, the world had grown at, uh, in 2012. It was a lot different in 1992. And again, I'm not disrespecting the greats. I would never do that ever again. But you just can't tell me that 2012 team wasn't beyond special. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.